What's going on everybody? It's story time. I'm here to tell you of a different time in my life, like in um, high school. So if you guys saw my previous story where I bodied teachers, well, that was like during my super high thug levels, like that was middle school and like, I guess end of elementary, you know, mainly middle school though. I was just, I was something else guys. You guys can look at that video to know what I was kind of like. In high school, it was a little more calm. You know, my freshman year, uh, but during my senior year, I kind of became a little bit of a troublemaker again. You know, my counselors were trying to give me like extra classes that necessarily I didn't need to graduate. So my counselor would be like, hey, you can get these extra classes, they'll help you out through college. But I always thought about it like, why even get all these extra classes? I'm still gonna end up having to pay a whole junk load for college or whatnot. So if I can avoid it and come to school later than normal, you know, I'd rather do that. And the chances of me failing was like slim. And most people don't try to deliberately fail a senior, is what I've noticed. So I started thinking to myself, I said, how can I just not come to school? I was like trying to figure out ways to not show up. Now I could have ditched school entirely, but that would probably make sure I wouldn't graduate. I need to find a legitimate way to skip class or just to get out completely. And then it dawned on me. I was like, check out these people that come into the room. So there's always people in student council or in the counselor's area or whatever. And I was actually in student council for a little bit. And these folks would walk into classes and give out these passes. So they would give out these passes that were requested by the teacher, uh, the nurse, um, the attendance center, just a bunch of different passes. And when I saw the pass, I was like, hey, I think I can just duplicate that. But there was one thing that was holding me back. There was a watermark. I went ahead and just tried it anyway. I said, you know what, let me check it out. Now most of these passes, you know, they usually come in a bunch of different colors. They come in yellow, green, red, pink, whatever. Sure enough, it doesn't look too convincing. So I was like, you know what, let me put it on the color paper and find out if I can do this. Now throughout this entire time, nobody in my family like knows, especially my mom. I mean, I'm really just with my mom for the most part. So nobody really knows that I'm doing this. And my mom happens to be working in an office that has all the color sheets that you will ever need. She had all the pinks, the yellows, the blues, the greens. I just had to pull them and just print on it. So after making attempts to try to copy the, the paper, I had to like adjust it. So I'm over here on like Microsoft Paint trying to adjust it, trying to make it a little lighter, trying to make it look convincing. And I said, you know what? Let me put it on yellow paper and let's give this a shot. So all I did was tell one of my friends, I was like, hey, I need you to go into the classroom, and give this to the teacher, because that's all they would do. They would just come in and be like, here you go and they would leave. That was it. That was the whole process of this pass. So I was like, I can do this. I, I was like, how come nobody's ever thought of this? So my first attempt of trying to do this, uh, one of these uh, girls that I, I knew in high school was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. She comes in, she gives the pass, and that's it, she leaves. She has a whole stack of passes, supposedly, whatever. So she gives it a shot. The teacher looks at it, she looks at me, and I'm trying to like, act like natural, like, and I can tell, you know, I'm, I'm using my peripherals, my peripherals, I'm, I'm looking from the sides. And she looks at me like, I don't think this is a real pass. I get a little nervous and I'm like, please don't get me busted. But sure enough, what's so great about these passes is like, it could be a student that doesn't even come to your class. Like the person that drops it off may not be in any of your classes. So the teacher doesn't even know the student that dropped it off. So it was so genius. She crumples it up and just throws it away so close to get out of this class. But again, the watermark was screwing me over. And there was another pass that I tried again, I tried to duplicate, but the watermark kept screwing me over. Then one time I noticed somebody passing by that does that work, you know, passing out these passes for people that need to go to the nurse or need to go to the principal's office or whatnot. This girl was carrying it. I knew her very well. I'm gonna call her Nessie. So Nessie was walking around with this pass and I said, hey, Nessie. I was like, let me see those passes. And they were like small little tiny passes. And I was like, what do these passes do? Well, they excuse you for the day. What? For the day? Yeah, they're excuses for the day that you, you gotta go home, they're here to pick you up or something. And there's no watermark? Give me a copy. And she was looking at me funny like, why do you want a copy for? I was just like, just give me anybody's pass that you're about to give out, just give it to me. I need it. She was really cool, so she was like, okay, here you go. Now here's the tricky part about all this whole thing. This is where it gets like, to the next level guys all these passes had to be signed by someone obviously an adult so what i did even during the beta testing of these passes is i would sign them i would literally be at my desk at home with all my mom's work papers and just start doing it over and over and over again now granted 
Some of the beta testing passes actually work from time to time. But I knew with these new passes that were so legit, there'd be no way any teacher would question it. Because they were the ultimate pass. You know, it was the pinkish reddish pass. It's like, as soon as you see it, it's like, this means business, they gotta go. Now, technically, they could have gotten you out of the entire day, but the only reason that wouldn't work is because you had to go to each class to make sure they wouldn't count you absent. So, since there was four periods per day, you needed four of those passes to count for the whole day. Anyway, after getting these ultimate passes, they had no watermark. I got the pink reddish sheet, started duplicating them, made a whole bunch, started cutting them out. I had like 50 passes and they were all ready signed. Nobody in the school had a clue. Like nobody knew what was going on. By the time I was getting close to the end of the school year, I'm here to tell you that I probably missed like the other half of the second half of the school year. We would just get out of classes like left and right. Yo, I had stacks on stacks. I said, what kind of pass do you want? You want just a regular 20 minute pass? You need the day pass? You let me know what kind of pass you need. I got it for you. It was hilarious, hilarious how easy the system worked. I was like freaking breaking bad of freaking school passes. I would just freaking cook them up. Be like, here you go. The signatures were so good. I had gotten so good at it. I'd be like, Boom, got it, boom, got it. It was so good and we never ever got caught. Now, granted, I don't know if they still have the same system implemented today, but if they do, I didn't I didn't pass on you know the torch, so I don't know if anybody still does that. But man, it was so good to do that. It was just like it was one of the things that I was like super proud of, like being able to get around the system. And nobody knew about it. Like, no one ever questioned it. Like, it was, still to this day, no one knew. Still to this day. Oh, except for the people that were involved. And there wasn't that many people involved. It's just the people that were, you know, really smart. And they just could keep things to themselves. They can keep secrets. You know, that was the most important part. It's like, I need you to be very ninja about this and keep your mouth shut. And ever since then, I was the ninja of all the hall passes. I mean, if you needed to get out, you know who to look for.